This is News 12, The Bronx, as local as local news gets. Good evening, I'm Kevin McCabe. Students at Lehman High School are getting a lesson in activism as they and their parents protest in support of their principal, Robert Leader. News 12's Dave Roush is at the City Hall protest with the story. Dave. Kevin, they came by the busload, three busloads, in fact, of angry students and parents. You can see them protesting over my shoulder in front of City Hall. They're angry about the Department of Education forcing their principal, Robert Leader, to retire. Now they're here calling on Mayor Bloomberg to step in and intervene, forcing the school's chancellor to back off. Now the group carried signs and chanted this afternoon in support of Bob Leader, who agreed to retire at the end of this school year. He's accused of allowing three football coaches to load their timesheets with hours they didn't work. While Leader acknowledges that it happened, he denies that he knew it was happening or that he ever condoned it. He says the Department of Ed gave him an ultimatum, either retire quietly or be handed down tough sanctions that could include being moved to another school. In an exclusive interview with News 12 in January, Leader said, he did not want to cause an uproar at the school and he didn't want to move to another school. Parents here say he's made Lehman High School what it is today during his nearly 30 year tenure and they're going to fight to keep him. His idea is to interact with all the students. I think he knows every student by name. Uh, you don't get that with many principals. And he's out there every day and he had a great influence on my son and my daughter. You can't keep track of, you know, over 5,500 people. And this, is this there going to be mistakes? Yes, but should he be punished? He should maybe penalized, but not to the extent where they want to, you know, kick him out of uh, the Lehman High School as a principal. Principal Leader is not here at the rally, but in our January interview, he told me that there's a second part to this story that has not come to light. He believes it will exonerate him in some manner. In the meantime, parents or students are hoping that the mayor hears their calls and steps in. Kevin? Okay, thanks, Dave. That was News 12's Dave Roush reporting from City Hall. Principal Leader says the head football coach at the center of the controversy still has retention rights for that position and could return as the coach this season. Caught on